Ouch. You got it. That slug came from a 45 revolver. Let me see it. This did come from a revolver. That's funny. Well, what's funny about that? In all my experiences in this territory, I've never seen an Indian carry one. Are you sure it was an Indian, Curly? Well, of course I'm sure. Why should I lie about it? It was 22 of them. That's quite a number for one man to tackle. You're lucky to escape. The big laugh around here is your raincoats. Nobody's safe. We are apt to have our scalps lifted any time. While you fellas are playing around examining bullets. <laughs> Get this, Mike. I never play around when I examine a bullet. They always tell the truth. This is a 45 from the latest Colt. With a little more study, I might be able to find the gun it came from. Fine chance. Here, you take a look at it. It might be able to tell you something. Sorry, my aim was bad. Don't tell me nothing, except it mighty near finished him. Sorry, my aim was bad. Carly, we're going over to wet our whistles. Come on over when you get patched up. My good man, have you given thought to the evils of drink? Yes, I've studied it deeply. And I still like it. Say, McLean, why don't you get yourself some more Mounties? The fighting kind. Are you going to let them get away with that? Don't worry, Diana. They're not getting away with anything. And there was Curly, left for dead on the trail by a bunch of thieving Indians. I tell you, man, we got to do something before they run us trappers clear out of the territory. But listen, men, what have we got the Mounties for? And why don't they do something? The government pays them to protect us, doesn't it? Oh, they're yellow. The minute any trouble starts, they happen to be busy doing something else. So you think we're yellow, eh, Mike? You heard me, Monty. What are you going to do about it? I'll take care of that later. Right now, I want you to account for your broken spur. Oh, trying to change the subject, huh? What's the matter? Is it against the law for a man to have a broken spur? <laughs> Quiet! I want all you men to get out of here. My business with these men is private. Come on, get along. What's the idea? It's more than an idea, Mike. It's a statement of facts. You have a broken spur. How come the missing part was found where a bunch of trappers were murdered? You better have a good explanation of that, Mike. I see, Redcoat. So you're trying to frame me, huh? Well, he ain't going to get away with it. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Mike. Put your guns on the table. Hurry up. I'm arresting you for murder. You better come peaceful. I'm taking your friend along for good measure. <laughs> if he feels that way about it, let's go. I thought you would. What hit this place? A cyclone? I was arresting them. They put up an argument. These are two of the Indians that killed Martin's men. Indians? What do you mean? You're crazy. You haven't washed all your war paint off yet. That and your broken spur will put your neck in a noose. Come on, Brady. We're taking them in. Better not take them out the front. That mob will handle them fast. Well, we'll take them out the back. Come on. Hello, Hinsdale. What are you doing here? Sergeant, I understand you jailed those two miserable sinners. Perhaps I could talk to them and let them see the error of their ways. Well, it won't do any good, but you're welcome to try. You need the practice. Thank you. Open up. Oh, you poor sinners. 
I've come to console you. Don't worry. I'll get word to the boss. McLean, when are we going to have that power with that Indian chief of yours? I've got a wagon train with supplies and surveyors coming in tomorrow. We're going to visit Flying Cloud tonight. I've sent a man to arrange the meeting. That's fine. I'll meet you here right after dinner. Well, don't worry about a thing, Mr. Winton. We'll have a couple of my men along as escorts. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot. Go on, get out! Let him out, Brady. Get out of here! Those who live by the sword shall perish by the sword. Ah, get out of here! Oh, thank you, Sergeant. I think I did them some good. Someday you, too, shall receive your reward. Thank you, Hinsdale. Thank you. Funny old character, always trying to reform people. Uh, you'll get nowhere fast in this neighborhood. <laughs> some sin for black bear. Black bear, come. Oh, yeah, yeah, sit down. Uh. That Indian is here. Oh, yeah. Keep your eyes open. I've got to win that old bird over to our side. Yeah. Now, wait. Hello, black bear. Glad to see you. Sit down. We'll have Palma. Uh. Listen, Black Bear, the white people are planning to build a railroad to bring the Iron Horse into the Indian's land. Ah. If the Iron Horse comes, it'll bring many settlers. The timber will be cut down and the fur animals destroyed or driven away. Why, Ransom, talk Black Bear. Black Bear medicine man, not chief. That's just it. I can make you chief. Uh huh? Then we can stop work on railroad. Black Bear, listen. Ransom, talk more. You're one smart Indian. You must tell Flying Cloud that the spirit of the great totem told you that the Redcoats had come to take his hunting ground away. Flying Cloud, he no believe me. He say that great totem speak to him. Don't worry. The great totem will speak to him. You understand? Ah. Black Bear understand. Black Bear call for great totem. Great totem will come. That's right. You've got it all straight. Ah. Oh. What kind of hocus pocus is this? How are you going to bring the great toad on the flying cloud? Very easily. Been preparing that for a long time. Well, what brings you here? Grievous times have fallen upon us. All right, Hinsdale, cut out the acting. Spill what you know fast. Sergeant McLean suspects our setup. He beat up Mike and Baptiste and tossed him into jail. He and Winton are going to have a powwow with Flying Cloud tonight about the railroad. I told them to be careful of McLean. Signal the men to get ready for a little workout tonight. Ah! Railroad will bring much good to Indian as well as white man. Chief, I ask that you give us permission to build it. I must consider my people. Atamoho! Just like I told you, all the Redcoats are there except the one guarding the jail. Red totem say, death and hunger will follow trail of iron horse. <laughs> I don't know anything about your great totem. I'm trying to talk common sense to you people. Refuse, white man. If land for Indians, so speaks great totem. Yeah. 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 